Hello everyone and welcome back to State of Decay. Alright, so now we're going to get a squad together. You can always only have two people, at least in most situations. Let's go with these two, I guess. So come with me and watch my back. And as you can see, it will take 20 of my influence points to Talk get this person to with home. me. Oh, whoops, I switched her. I didn't mean to do that. Um, there we go. I want you to join me, officer. Can't accompany you right now. Hmm. I wonder if you can only have one officer in each squad. In that case... Here we go. We will grab you. Hello? Can't do it. Oh, he can't do it either. Okay, well, never mind. Just me and this one guy. So I'm going to switch out to a sniper rifle. If we even have one. Let's see. Yep. We do have an... <laughs> Arctic Warrior. You will now stash that. So what does this take? 7.62 rounds? Probably won't need that many. But I think I kind of want to take... Ah, I still have a melee weapon. That's fine enough. Yeah, yeah, that's good. What does... Brendan have? Brendan has an ACR assault rifle. Okay. Good enough. Works for me. Whoa. <laughs> we have run over some zombies in this truck. Okay, so we do have a couple missions we could do. I think before I do the main mission, because I think we have some time before I have to, I want to go over here and get this stranded soldier, because after a certain amount of time, if I'm remembering correctly, these side missions will disappear. So I, that came up first, so I kind of want to deal with it first. And it's relatively close. Also, when you stop playing this game and come back to it, let's say like a day later, time does pass when you're not playing. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Unless it's changed in Lifeline. Again, all my information is coming from the original State of Decay. But the game does pass. Your, your base will lose uh, supplies, morale will go down. So keep that in mind. From what I remember, the more you stay away from the game, the longer in one period, like time will pass by normally, and then after like 24 hours or so, it kind of like halves time, and then it just keeps getting less and less. So if you don't play it for like a week, you're not gonna have to come back to like a base of dead people. All right, so hello. What's your status? We're all that's left of our unit. We could use some orders, sir. Join up with us, and maybe we'll all get out of here alive. Yeah, awesome. Two more soldiers. Do they have anything here that I can take? I don't see anything glowing that I can search, but that warehouse is right up here, and this had a materials. You can actually see it on the mini-map, because I, since I searched this, that's telling us that there are materials still here. So what I should be able to do, if I remember how to, here we go. Yeah, okay, so these are some of the special abilities that you can do. We can call in Doghouse to give us some barrages, apparently. Drone Recon, Drone Strike. But what I want to do is establish an outpost here. So what outposts do... Oh, Maybe actually... not. Oh, we need to fully search it before we can do that. That's right. Um, well, let's search this. So when you have an outpost, depending on what materials is in that outpost, like right now it's showing... Um, I should say what resources are there. Right now it's showing materials. This outpost will generate materials for our base each day all right so now i think it should be fully searched this location is tactically, tactically maybe because there's zombies okay so you have to clear the area of zombies first and then we should be able to set it up as an outpost so an outpost the area that the outpost covers will be like a little influence area zombies won't be spawning in the outpost and you can also come here for a supply locker just like you can find at your home. So I'm going to use 40 influence well, points. In here there we go. People. And now you can see that this has been flagged green. And there should be an area of influence around it. Yeah. So there you go. So zombies after this little zombie wave here. They shouldn't be spawning here. And now we have a supply locker right there. Which links us up to our supplies from home. And now this is generating materials for us. Which we can view that. Right here in the outpost section. So this is showing that we can have six outposts operational at one time. 
and you can click on the outpost and then for one fuel and one influence you can increase this protected range around the outpost I am just gonna do that that's not that expensive alright so we set up an outpost we got soldiers we can take them back I definitely dodge oh jeez you got shot get out of here good gosh get in the truck oh no The Eagles do take damage over time. That field workshop that we established in the first episode, you can upgrade that so that it can also repair vehicles, which is also pretty important. Well, uh, there, there are a lot of vehicles around here, so it's not super important right now. So okay, we're going to take these people back, and then we'll head out for the doctor's wife. All right, this ain't the Hilton. Secure your trash and see ops for your duty assignments. There we go. We just gotta level up in leadership. Awesome. So over time, the reason that you will want to switch player characters is because after a while of fighting and just walking around, your character will get tired and the stamina bar will take a permanent decrease. Well, a temporary decrease, I should say. Until you switch out and let that character rest, you'll be fighting basically uh, at, a, at a handicap because your stamina is going to be low. And that I imagine that's going to happen in this episode. I'm going to switch off to the other officer. Alright, so I don't see the mission active on our map. Uh, let's... There we go. There's the waypoint. Ah! Alright, I guess we gotta take this ramp here. Oh. So yeah, it looks like the center of the city is going to be blocked off and that's where all the skyscrapers are. That's unfortunate. But I guess I can understand why they didn't. Because they got this expansion out kind of quick considering that it's a whole new area. Hey, are you here for us? We have a medevac down the road. We're looking for Dr. Julene Horn. Thomas Horn's wife? Ex-wife. Like it matters. Yes, please, get us out of here. Okay, cool. We found her. So this is about Tom? I'm sorry, Dr. Horn. Your husband is dead. Ex-husband. Oh. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> the brass get it. might know something about his research. Something that could help us. I'm a surgeon. I didn't have time to listen to Tom's obsessive theories. He practically papered our house with... Oh, crap. You don't want me. You want his notes. The house isn't too far from here. I'll show you where to go. Oh, okay. Where's where's the house here? All right. So if you kill zombies with your door, it doesn't decrease the durability of your car. So that's the preferred method of killing zombies when you're driving. All right, we'll take this off ramp here. There are apparently zombies up here. Don't tell me. That's your house? I didn't invite those people. Hey, I can help clear them out. I'm in the reserves. Trained at Fort Sam Houston. Outstanding. We've got this. Okay. So since we went on a mission, since we actually activated this mission to search the house. Oh, never mind. I was going to say this guy's gone, but he's still here. Okay, never mind. Disregard what I was going to say. Oh, no, Screamer. No. Uh, equip. There's that slow time. Did I get the screamer? The screamer attracts other zombies. 
think that should have went through its head. No, then. There we go. Oh, there's two in this house. Oh! Shut up. And back. I think I know where I stuck his notes. How many times did I tell him to clean out his crap? Search fast, all right? I want to make it out alive. I'm gonna search for materials, and I'm assuming also notes. Uh, nope, don't need that. Pain medication, okay, we'll take that. We that take was an impressive stroke of good fortune. Those. And I'm full, so I'm gonna head back out here to the truck. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> So you can see I was encumbered there, so when you're encumbered, I believe it does take more of your stamina to fight. And you also move slower. I'm gonna back this truck up. Time for a break. Oh boy. Greyhound one to Black Friday. We're on route with Dr. Horn. Let Doghouse know we're ready for extraction. Roger that, Greyhound One. Might want to hurry back. We're seeing a lot of movement around here. Threat level three again. Oh, they get they got the notes. Okay. Well, I am not finished checking the house for supplies. There we go. So when you search fast, you do have the chance of attracting more zombies if you make a loud noise. To do that, you can just hold in the uh, left button, LB. Talking doll, we'll take the revolver, the machete, the pills. Yeah, that's it, there you go. That was loud. Ready for company. And now we attracted more zombies. But we have a lot of people here to fight them all, that's why I don't really care about being loud right now. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Must have been really loud. If you could fight this guy for me. There you go. Thank you. Oh, the stash is full. No. There we go. Cool. Open up at least one slot so I can now check this. And then the house will be fully searched. I'm looking for actual resources. Ah, uh, nothing. Okay. That was an impressive stroke of good fortune. Oh, the pills are still a good thing. All right, let's get back in here and head back to the base. Hop on in, hop on in. Hop on in now, please. Thank you. So a good thing to, to do, at least what I did in the previous State of Decays that I've done, is I try to find... Oh, that's cool, a ramp off the... Time it back to base. We, uh, have a situation developing here. Okay. Um, I try to find outposts that are right next to my base to in, to expand our base's influence, basically. So we can create a kind of like a, a huge safe zone. So I'm probably going to be doing that here pretty soon. Doctor, keep away from the gates. But stay where I can see you, alright? You get in trouble? I want to know about it. Sound like they're fighting so, some people. Set up a watchtower where you can see the whole perimeter. Oops. Good. Don't mean to we'll that. need more firepower than we have on hand. I'll take that position and call in fire support. Siege. Okay. Well, let me empty the truck first, and then I guess I will head to the tower. No room for that. And call in some artillery support. Coming. Come 
Okay, so we want artillery barrage. Use artillery marker. Um. I'm not sure how to actually do that. God, that's so slow. <laughs> I don't know how to do the artillery marker. This isn't good. All right, so you can see that some of our stamina bar is now gone. That means she is tired. Oh no, special zombie coming in. Not good. Nope, someone's getting, getting hit. This is not the time to be tired. You're okay, you're okay. I need to go back here and eat some stamina things. Hurry up! Uh, we need... Oh, I see! I took your markers in my inventory. How do I actually... Um, I forget how to use, I forget how to use. I really don't remember how to use this from my inventory. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I've been pressing like every button. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's that's actually kind of close. That's kind of close. And now we don't even really need it. Ah, it looks kind of cool though. Oh, nice. Black Friday to Doghouse. We have Julene Horn in the air with a stack of her husband's notes. Roger that, Black Friday. Better than we hoped for. Hold your position, wait for the next name on the list. Roger that, sir. You've been effective enough that I'm allocating some assets to back you up. Drone recon, airstrikes, they're standing by for you. Doghouse out. Cool. Alright, so we are pretty tired, so let me see if I can s No, the officer's hurt! Sir, you may want to hear this. I oh, we had some of this. Radio. Hello, everybody. This is Vienna Cho, the last voice of Danforth. If you're listening, I'm here to help you survive. Video In case games. you didn't notice, the army pulled out of the city. Oh, sorry. Whoops. I didn't realize I was going to break the the communication. Whoops, sorry. I kind of want to hear that. All right, so what does this guy have? 60 shells, shotgun, shovel. Dig it. Got it. Yep. Okay, so let's go in here. We'll take a couple stamina. Ooh. Wow, this guy can't carry that much. Well, he does have a lot of shotgun shells, I guess. And pain meds. Okay. So what to do now? Let's open up the map. 
That outpost is done. I'm not sure what that icon is. Artillery site. Oh, okay, that's new. I guess we could search the surrounding houses and look for more outpost opportunities. That's what I'll do. Anybody I can take with me? You. I think this is the mess? Time to get it on! Nice, okay. Let's start searching. Start over here. With the Bub's Warehouse. Now, you can't actually go into all the buildings, but I'm hoping this is one you can. Hmm. Uh, maybe there's a door over here. Uh, nuts. Okay. Guess we might as well pick up one of our trucks then. Okay, so there is a warehouse right there, but I'm not seeing a way inside. No. So again, I'm looking for possible outposts in this immediate area. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, this is looking promising. These type of sacks generally have the material supplies. Generally. Excellent. So you always need to keep at least one of these here for this to be a materials outpost. So I am going to loot the other one. Might as well take that. And before you can make an outpost, you have to search the entire place, but I think that's the only thing that's searchable, so that's fine. And establish outpost. I need an outpost on this location. ASAP. Excellent. So that works. Uh, sure. We'll kill you. Yes. I'm out of gas. <laughs> nice face plant. So that makes the base a little more secure. I'm just going to quickly drop off these supplies. Okay. And let's go to the outpost screen and make that... Oh, we don't actually have any fuel for that. Uh... Well, looks like we are in some need of fuel. Wait a minute, yeah I do. We have seven fuel, what am I... Why can't we... Oh, maybe because it's already at max? Maybe that's the reason. Now we search this place. And I'm really hoping for a fuel resource of some kind. Hmm. We've got company here. Do we? Normally for a fuel resource you need an oil drum. Thermite grenade. Flares and an improvised silencer. Take all those. I 
kind of surprised no side missions have just been kind of popping up. Uh, I guess we can take that at least. We need to leave everything else here though. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if we can ask for side missions. You could, in the previous version, if you went to, like, your ops center. While this order is active, soldiers will constantly scavenge for small amounts of supplies in the surrounding area. While this order is active, soldiers will hunt zombies around the perimeter to keep threat level low. Our unit will search the city for surviving soldiers and add them to our ranks. Interesting. That, that, that's all new. Okay, yeah, let's let's do one of those. I'll go back here, and I want supply lines, which will use only 25 of our influence, which is fine. Are now ordered to focus on gathering useful supplies for the base. Cool. Order currently active. Nice. All right, research solar power. We need a generator. This needs a weapons lab for a box mine, and weapons and medical lab for incendiaries. Hmm. We can upgrade to condensed supply. Okay. Make MREs. Upgrade to infirmary. Create basic equipment like suppressors, distraction, Molotov cocktails. Mm. I don't know, I'm kind of okay with upgrading to an infirmary. That increases our recovery chance. But it does require a trained healer though. For that medical profession. But well, we still would get the base 30% recovery chance just because it's an upgraded infirmary. Yeah, let's do that. That's pretty important. I don't want our soldiers dying of infection. Okay, and I think that's going to do it for this episode. Right, I'm... Survivors, we have oh. our first caller. Oh. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your situation. My family and I are holed up in a building near our house. We only made it a few blocks before they boxed us in. Please, anyone. I can't watch my family die. This is what the army left behind when they ran away. Now, it's up to you listeners out there. We will broadcast their location until you tell us they're safe. If you've got the means, get over there and help out. You know there ain't no civilians who can roll up on a horde and just clear it out for these people. It's us or nobody. I agree, but it's not that simple. We have orders. We can't just extract whoever we want. Hmm. All right, so I'm assuming that's a side mission that we can do. All right, so <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care.